Good afternoon and oh no, good evening. This is Tina. Last video we uh, show you some demo which is to parse a URL, right? And uh, in this video we're gonna show you how to format your URL, which means when we have a URL object and how to form to be a URL. Uh, this one I never used actually for for the, this format in the following lectures I didn't use this one okay anyway it's good to know okay format.js okay so which is very easy let me copy this entire thing okay suppose now if I have a URL object here equals this one Okay, and uh, this one has to be the query string. Okay, which not like this, which gonna be a uh, gonna be the almost the same as this one. Okay, and except this uh, what's the <laughs> this question mark, and uh, what are we gonna do? Yes, uh, const uh url my url equals uh first we have to require for that uh, module const url equals i turn on the auto save then it become like this i will turn off i don't like it he is trying to like uh he is trying to navigate me you know like uh if 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 i if I if I do can I see let's see if I trying to do something okay I don't like it okay so see this take a look at I will turn off I don't like it okay I I'll save by myself anyway like control S cast my URL equals URL module dot format this then you pass this object there okay. Then what's gonna be returned? It's an URL. My URL. It's gonna be a URL string. No, no, no. Okay. It's gonna be the string as like the, like this part. Okay. So let's run and see. Okay. I'll terminate term, term, terminate this one. So node format .js you will see it become entire that's just that a url suppose i remove this part this part i, I remove this part i remove the uh, remove the, remove the search or hash it shouldn't affect okay and you want to see you all still see the same thing okay here okay but that's because i removed the hash so you, we don't see hash now okay oh oh hey i have a query here but i don't have the query string oh, oh, oh the search doesn't exist i removed the search then the, it cannot find the search for us now okay oh now it have okay i think that then i can remove query Ah, this is interesting. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see this one. Okay. Ah, still the same. Okay. So anyway, yes, you give a certain part of your URL, and then to a, yeah, as a URL object, then to a format to be a actual URL to you. But I didn't use it. Yes, I didn't use it in my project anyway if you want to use uh, in some cases you can use this way it's uh, similar to the idea in where when we talk about uh, the gsp servlets um, or spring in spring it has uh, one uh, it has a uh, one module or dependency which which is on the gsp page it has one uh library 
called the spring URL. Then you can use in that spring URL to generate the to generate the URL for us. It also looks like uh, inside the GSP servlet. Do you remember they they have they have we have uh, uh, we want to avoid the scribble scribble. So scribble it right we don't want to have some scripting uh scribble it code in our gsp and what we need what we do is using gstl which is a standard library and it also has a one coffee in the core module it also has a c url which can also generate the url similar to like this way similar to this one anyway if you want to use just use it but I didn't use, I think I didn't use this one for the future videos. Okay. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.